Lucas Media. So Terrence Crawford was on Twitter today uh, saying several things, just talking about him, his fighting career, and he even had some interesting say about Jerron Boots in his quote. Like I said before, and he put at Jerron Boots in this, had two opportunities to fight me. We talking about a kid that's still fighting in a theater. Make it make sense. Because a lot of people felt like Terrence Crawford was ducking Jerron Boots in this. And even the IBF stripped Terrence Crawford and did they made Boots in this the new champion, a.k.a. the new IBF email champion at 147. And T.O., he calls out Terrence Crawford and said that he wants to fight him. And Terrence Crawford says, quote, and, and T.F.E.M.A. Lopez, shut your little bitch ass better worry about fighting them little guys that's on your ass down there in your weight class. It's crazy. Every time I see your whole ass, you don't even look my way. But when you're in front of the camera, you got so much to say. You a pussycat. <laughs> and T.O. goes back and forth with Terrence Crawford and starts showing accolades. And he has a nerve to say Terrence Crawford. Uh, well, Terrence Crawford says Mr. Two-Time, first to ever do it. Uh, you know, first male athlete in four belt air, undisputed at 140 and 147. And then Teofimo Lopez said, and still ain't one fighter of the, of the year. Which to me was highway robbery, because anyway, the I'm sorry, no. Sure, he's a heck of a fighter down there in the and you know the boogie weight classes, but uh, come on now, Terrence Crawford slayed the boogeyman, and Earl Spence and Earl was outclassed. Terrence was was bigger, faster, and stronger than Earl Spence. Like it, you could. It didn't even like Terrence Crawford was even trying in there. And this man went undisputed against the number, the, at that time, the number one or two welterweight. And you didn't get fighter of the year. This That's what, about the politics. And here's my thing about T.O. I still remember those comments he said about black fighters, but whatever. Right. T.O., you need to be worried about Devin Haney. You need to worry, be worried about Mikey Garcia. Clean up your division at 140. T.O., who lost to George Cambosis because he was too busy out there wilding out. Then he came back at 140, and he won the WBO belt against Josh Taylor. Cool. You was the underdog. A lot of people didn't even think you was going to even be fighting anymore, or you went to your wife from a Ryan. You went in there and proved everybody wrong. But you talking about you the best and you the you the, the king at 140 and dude stop. When are you gonna fight Devin Haney? Because you was not gonna try to fight this man and and now all of a sudden you you the man and ah look, dude, just fight for unification. Like I said, I like TO to a degree. Some of his comments I can't rock with all these antics, but I'm sorry, man. You're not even a star. Did has T.O. ever been on pay per view? Yeah, by him, I don't believe so. So I mean, you calling out Terrence Crawford? No disrespect. You don't even deserve a Terrence Crawford fight. He's one of the premier faces of boxing, and at this moment, he has the pick. He can pick whoever he wants to fight. And even if they ain't at 154, they'll move up to fight him. And some fighters might move down from 160 to 154 to fight him. Or even 168 because they want that payday and reckon, you know, and a recognition. A recognition. Recognition, y'all. I'm tripping. But I just want to share my two thoughts on it, as y'all can see in these uh, screenshots. You know, I get it's all fun and games. It's boxing. But... When it comes to T.O. and come on, man, really? You really think you really finna fight Terrence Bud Crawford for what? But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it.
Tell me what y'all think.